Hi, today I'd like to cover off uh, NAS with multiple HDMI ports. So this is the uh, interface you see from uh, the um, uh, output of the HDMI. Um, as I don't have a screen capture device, I've just uh, VNC'd into the NAS here so that I can see the HDMI output um, in a web browser. Um, so what we're seeing here is how I've got mine set up. So I've got it mainly just for using a uh, QVR uh, software for monitoring my QVR Pro uh, camera setup. Um, I do have mine connected to two separate displays. So I've got one set up here into a screen in my home office so I can always monitor the cameras. And I've also got it hooked up to one of the HDMI inputs in my living room um, so that if uh, something happens and I want to see the, the live view from the cameras, I can just change the TV in my living room across to the relevant HDMI port and also see the footage there. Um, I normally have the QVR Smart Client open at all times on the uh, camera view so that whenever I switch to that input, it's just ready to go with the live feed from all of my cameras at once. Um, so a few of our NAS do have multiple HDMI. So here's an example of one now, the, uh, the TBS-464. Um, it's got two HDMI 2.0 ports on the back um, so that you can connect up displays and you can use them for um, a couple of different things, either duplicating the displays or extending uh, a display so you've got a wider field of view, especially if you've got perhaps a lot of cameras to view, you can have some on one screen, some on the other. Um, so to set that up, you would click onto the uh, settings options here. So the NAS I'm using is a TVS-473E. So the E is missing off that, but I'm using the TVS-473E, which has two HDMI outputs as well. I'm going to click the uh, cog at the top right uh, up there, so it's highlighted there. And I'm going to go to the display option. So under display, we can see we've got HDMI a0 and HDMI A1. So the A0 is what I'm using here on the screen in my office. Um, it's just a, uh, a small 24 inch ViewSonic display that's uh, got the footage on it and it's a 1080p display. And I've got secondary monitors set to duplicate. And then you see the LG TV, which is the, uh, the 4K display in my living room. Um, you can also go into the uh, options for each screen. So if I was to click on my resolution for my screen here in my office, it gives you a list of all the different options that you can select. So you can have both screens on different resolutions if you wish. Um, I've just left them both at 1080 um, because I'm not watching movies or anything like that. It's just my camera display. And 1920 by 1080 is um, pretty much matching what my camera's output 1080p as well. Um, so I see no reason to set mine up to the 4K limit, but you can, if you wish, uh, change that as well. And in terms of what you can do with the options, so I do have mine as duplicate. So the exact same content is displayed on both screens at the same time. But you do have options uh, to extend the display to the right or to the left. So mine, I keep it with the four cameras in a grid of four, which is nice and easy. But if I had eight cameras, um, I might want to extend it to the right so I can see four cameras on one display, four cameras on the other display. Um, so there's a lot of different options that you can do uh, with these different options here. And if you do want to use it in the uh, the options that, that I've got for, say, having always ready to go to view cameras, uh, I've got it set to turn the screen uh, off while idle, set to the off option so that it's not doing that. Uh, but this is how you would do uh, multiple displays uh, so you can view uh, different items. So here's the uh, QVR smart client that I run. So if I just open this up, um, it'll show you the, uh, uh, the different uh, cameras that I've got displayed so that you can go in and see um, and it'll open up. I've got it set to auto login. So if the NAS ever reboots, it automatically loads those up. So you can click around, you can interact with it. We do have a free app for your um, uh, mobile device uh, called Q Remote that lets you use it like a mouse so that you can move the mouse around um, on the display. So if I was in my living room and I wanted to uh, look around my different cameras, for example, I could go to um, my uh, uh, mobile device so that I could open up Q Remote and I could navigate through and uh, access different things here on the, uh, the different displays. So you can double click on a camera and it will show you all the cameras say, at the back and all the cameras from the front. Uh, so it's very easy to do. Oh, I need to update that when I've removed that channel. Uh, but that's very easy to move things around. And if you ever wanted to uh, manipulate these displays or go back in time uh, to see some uh, different things, you can do that as well. Uh, so that's how to use uh, multiple uh, displays on the uh, any QNet NAS that's got multiple uh, HDMI outputs. Uh, so again, you go to the uh, settings option, go to display, and then you've got the options there so that you can change. Um, the, the different outputs from the different displays um, to dif different things. So you can have duplicate, extend to the right or extend to the left. If anyone has any questions on this, please do let me know and we'll answer them as soon as we can. Thanks a lot.